Hi viewers, welcome to my channel Naveen Velsuri. In today's video, I am giving the answers for week 5 assignment 5 for the subject introduction to internet of things. Please like, share and subscribe my channel Naveen Velsuri. Coming to the week 5 assignment 5, the due date for the submission of assignment is March 1st. The first question. Suppose that an IoT sensor node A works on wireless Wi-Fi and senses the pressure as a physical parameter in integer number and another IoT node B operates on IEEE 802.15.4 Zigbee and senses humidity as a floating point number. In this context, which among the following correctly describes the issues with the deployment? The given options heterogeneity, interoperability, both A and B, neither A and B. The correct answer is interoperability option B. Coming to the second question. RESTful web services are utilized for? The given options are Syntactic interoperability for device interaction Semantic interoperability for device interaction both A and B and none of the above. The correct answer is option A. Syntactic interoperability for device interaction. Coming to the third question. Which UMB interoperability component is responsible for converting physical devices into virtually abstracted ones? The given options are UMB adapter, UMB core, UMB hypervisor, UMB abstractor. The correct answer is UMB adapter option A. User interoperability is the interoperability problem between an user and dash. The given options are another user, device, both user and device, none of the. The correct answer is device option B. Which of the following is an open global multi-sector standard for efficient, accurate, flexible classification of products and services. Among the given options, the correct answer is option B, UNSPSC. Now, sixth question. What does the routing component in UMBC Use for routing the metadata messages. Options are flow table, routing table, middleware routing table, middleware flow table. The correct answer is middleware routing table option C. Seventh question. Which among the following are components of an Arduino UNO board? The options are LED power indicator, digital IO pins, analog input pins, all of these. The correct answer is option D, all of these. Eighth question. The tool used to select a particular COM port for connecting Arduino to a serial connector is called a sketch. The given options are true or false. Option A, true is the correct answer. And ninth question. Which kind of conflict occur when different processing logic are applied to same IoT network devices or applications. Options are semantic conflict, syntactic conflict, system conflict, design device conflict. Among the given options, option A, semantic conflict is the correct answer. Tenth one, which of the following is true for the sketch command given below? Delay of 3000. The given options, among these all the given options, the option B provides a delay of 3 seconds is the correct answer. So you have to select option B. And 11th question, how many types of loops will you find in Arduino programming? The given options 1, 2, 3 and 4. The answer is 4. Actually, we have the 5 loops. Here, the highest number is 4 is given. So, we have to select option D, 4. 
how many digital input and output pins are there in Arduino UNO? Options are 14, 54, 11 and 16. The correct answer is option A, 14 number of IO pins, digital IO pins. And 13th question, servo motors that you connect to Arduino are an example of? Options are sensors, actuators, gateways, rotors. Option B, actuators is the correct answer. And 14th question, which of the following functions exist by default in Arduino IDE? Given options, main, loop and main, setup and loop, setup and main. The correct answer is setup and loop, option C. And last question, 15th one, choose the right option for if or conditional operator. Among the given uh, options, the option A, value is equal to condition question mark statement 1 colon statement 2 is the correct answer. So you have to tell it option A as a correct answer for the 15th question. So before going to submit your answers, once again check whether you have answered all the given 15 questions or not. After verification, you have to submit your selected options. Remember that the last date for submission of your week 5, that is assignment 5, is March 1st, 2023. Thank you, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel, Naveen Vailchuri. Thank you for watching.